I'm okay. Russ Gaines with the Musician Network. We're here at Vayette Guitars in Woodstock, New York. We're with Joe Vayette. Joe, thanks so much for joining us this morning. My pleasure. Well, this particular guitar that, that uh, we're working on this morning, tell me a little bit about this instrument. This is uh, a griffin. We call it, um, it's just the name he gave to this species of high-tuned 12 strings. Okay. Uh, it's a unison, it's, they're tuned in unison uh, courses, no octaves, as, like standard 12, more like a uh, mandolin. These instruments were basically developed, um, it, it was an outgrowth of me looking for an all-octave 12 string. Uh, I wasn't interested in unison courses. And we made one slightly shorter scale than that that, that actually worked, but uh, it just didn't feel that musical and it, it didn't seem that effective. And uh, I suggested just tuning it up in unison courses and all of a sudden it was like, wow, this is really something. Now, if you could describe a little bit about what the unison courses, am I saying that correctly? Yes, well, it just means that uh, the, the doubled strings, the paired strings, as on a mandolin, are pitched to the same pitch. So the they're not an octave apart. The four, the four lower courses, pairs, on a standard tuned 12 string are tuned in octaves. I see. And the top okay. two courses are usually tuned in unison. So, so anyway, we just, um, it, it just worked. People just loved it. And we've sold quite a few of them. Um, Neil Schoen, James Taylor. Um, Dave Matthews. Uh, well, Dave Matthews, this is his second. We're doing a, we have an acoustic version. He has one of these that he's been playing out in concert and on his recording, and he feels like he needs a backup because he's going to be apparently using it a lot on the next tour. So um, it, we just kind of stumbled on it, and it's, it's, it's a really good instrument. Now, now basically, the, uh, the tone of this instrument is, is it actually going to sound similar to, in some capacity to a mandolin type of it a can. sound? It can. It can. We've got uh, some Nashville folks, one Nashville guy, he, he uh, enjoyed using it on a, ma on a mandolin call for okay. a session. I see. And then in the middle he'd start finger picking just to drive his musician friends crazy. You know, <laughs> and, you know, what the, what the hell is he doing? Right. How can he do this? Right, that's right. Because you can't finger pick this. You know? and, and you, but you can also get a very convincing mandolin kind of sound. Sound. And it also is even, an, it's going to actually also enable a player to have kind of a 12 string um, it, but, or could it be tuned possibly to enable someone to have a... No, it's, it's a different beast. It's, okay. it's, it's higher pitched. It's, you, like, you wouldn't try to get a mandolin to sound like a 12 string. It's just, it is what it is. Okay. Now the tone woods that you've used on this particular instrument, what do we have for the body and also for the fretboard? Pretty much, aside from our uh, acoustic guitars, pretty much all our instruments here have poplar bodies. Okay. We're experimenting, experimenting with some ash now, but okay. uh, poplar bodies. And um, this has a curly maple top. We've done, we do a lot with spruce tops. And, and most of your wood stock you get here locally, or is it from all over the world? It's from all over. We, get, we try to get some wood locally, but generally yeah. speaking, we have to, we have to shop some. The poplar, wow. poplar is generally from down south. Isn't that beautiful? Stuff like this, which comes from out west. Where was that? Where was that uh, obtained from? This is probably I, Pacific Northwest. I, okay. It's big leaf Excuse quilted me, yes. maple. I mean, the, the raw lumber looks like this. You can only imagine what it looks like sanded with a finish. Absolutely. It's totally three dimensional. Now, how many, um, in terms of this particular model, how many instruments would you be able to create for that <laughs> size of uh, stock? Uh, probably about eight or ten. Okay. Eight or ten instruments. Yeah. Okay. This uh, is an almost finished nylon string. Again, you know, we call these Mark IVs. Mark IVs. The uh, solid body sort of mock acoustic. Yes, I see. And uh, because this is a nylon string, we've put a spruce top on it, but it has a popper body. Okay. And uh, it'll have nylon strings, and it's, it's, it's the same. These Mark IVs, these solid bodies, uh, like that and this, they're basically generally piezo powered. Yes. And it's a way of getting a really good, serviceable, predictable acoustic sound on Manageable stage. Sound on stage. Um, and it's you know it's a sweet sound. It's a very wooden sound. Yeah. But there's no worry about feedback or. Uh, you know. Because these are not chambered bodies. Exactly. Well, they're slightly chambered. They're slightly. Not, a, not enough to to invoke any kind of feedback. This is Beautiful. sort of a, a newer development for us. We we've mostly been doing unusually. Uh, configured instruments. We've been doing mostly um, 
baritones and high tuned instruments and baritone nylons and a lot of 12 strings. And we've recently just started doing some standard tuned sixes and people seem to really love them. Uh, they get somewhat of a, uh, some, there's a somewhat distinctive sound available from the, the, uh, the wooden bridge and tailpiece yeah. situation. This, this tailpiece essentially is locked, it just slides in, you can see the kind of yeah. shape and that goes all the way around. And we just match the shape of the uh, tailpiece Isn't to the body, that wonderful. and the string tension actually just links it up really nicely. Absolutely, in a way that's going to sound a little different yeah. from a bolted-on piece of metal. Right. And this is a height-adjustable bridge. I don't think I, Joe. I don't think I've ever seen another bridge design like that. that uh, is you, just, you, that's you haven't. <laughs> but that's spectacular. It's spectacular. It, this configuration didn't exist uh, six months ago. Okay, so, so <laughs> maybe even one of uh, one of. Uh, your original uh, Mark IV, I believe. We are generally hovering around, I'd say, ten a month. Ten a month, wonderful. That's great. So, you know, it's a small operation. Yeah. We're really That's visible so because because of our clientele. Because, you know, we have people. One or done there. right the first time. Well, That's and right. and it's just people who play out a lot and yeah. need need really functional, reliable, dependable That's tools. Right. That's right. So that's that's the mark I've always. Uh, I've always dealt with. Yes, understand.